Not her going offline. Okay, let's see. Denise Tere. She has a really nice profile picture. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, we can. You guys are lagging. I don't know what's going on. All right, send me the request. Still? Okay. This is the greatest. Did you send it? I sent it, yes. It's like not coming on. Pause the TV. Um, you have to press like the camera. Yeah, and then have, you have to that. Press the save. Yeah, like um, just mute the TV real quick so I can join you. You said what? Oh, mute the TV. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what's going on. All right, well, get somebody up here who do know what's going on. Um, come on. Yes, I can. That's Crystal. Come on. Hi. 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 Can, can you turn your camera on, please? Yes. I think, oh, wait, hold on. I thought it was on. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I love the hair. Thank you. Red. Love it. Okay, so what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Christelle. I'm from Boston. Nice. Okay, what's your name? Uh, not, not what's your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> where, where did you first see us? I seen y'all like um, a couple months ago. 2020 uh no not 2020 what was last year again 2022 gotcha okay cool what's your question um well hi sean hi olivia i mean not olivia hi shanice is it shanice or shanice you run track i used to yeah what'd you run relay four by one four by four i don't remember all of that <laughs> oh, crazy. But yes, um, so I did have questions. I already like have them all together. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just go down my list. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, my first question, Sean. So like, are you you're Nigerian? Mm, I'm American. Okay. What's your ethnicity? Answer. <laughs> uh, all right, Sean. <laughs> let let let's give real answers. <laughs> that is a real answer. answer. <laughs> all right. So my first question is, um, so like, what when's you and um Shanice's anniversary? I go based off the day we met, and I would say August fifteenth. What? How do you define that? Because honestly, like, she like really never left. Once we so, like, it, it was weird. Like, it, she like came over. I think I saw you again like two days later. Did and she pretty much never. What were you saying? She came. Oh, we like met after the first date. Mm -hmm. We saw each other two days later, and she pretty much never left. So it's April fifteenth. No, August. August fifteenth. And like, what do y'all do every single time? It's like y'all's anniversary. Like, what do y'all do for y'all's anniversary? Well, the last anniversary, she was on deployment. Mm -hmm. But this one, um, whatever she wants to do, to be completely honest, I mean, I have a little something, something, you know. But I, uh, we don't have like a tradition, if that's what you're asking. Okay. Is there anything you would like to do on your anniversary day? Uh. Not it doesn't way. matter what you like to do on your anniversary. Um, <laughs> um, nothing I'm thinking of right now. And you know, seriously, anything? Uh, not that I can think of. Nothing. Um, mm. let's take a trip. I don't know about that, baby. Now I gotta get a passport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, um. You and Olivia, like, do y'all have an anniversary? Like, do y'all, 
Y'all just met kind of, right? Like a couple months ago. You know what's so funny? What? August 15th. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was about to say. August 15th. You're for real? <laughs> huh? You're for real? I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like so serious. So she came out here the 30th, it was, right? <laughs> of when was that? Yeah, June? it was like June. No, July. July, July 30th. July. And then I didn't know she had a boyfriend. So the first couple weeks out here, she was just kind of like out here. We weren't together. We weren't romantically involved. And then when we started dating, it was like, well, we were interested in each other on the 13th. And then like right around the 15th is when it got like solidified. So I'm just like, August That's 15th. Funny. <laughs> Also, so y'all, so you and Olivia and you and Shanice, like y'all, your separate relationships are the, on the same day, like the anniversary yep. on the same day. <laughs> Almost prophetic. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. So like, what do you, okay. All right. Yeah. You said you haven't celebrated it yet. Okay. Okay. That's cool. So my next question is, um... So, Sean, you said you was homeless like three years ago and you was able to become, you said you make five figures a month. If I made five figures, if, if I did only five figures a month, I wouldn't jump off my balcony. Um, yeah, no, I do a little bit more than that. Why would you do that? <laughs> I wouldn't even, if I made five figures a month, I would not be able to look at myself in the mirror as a man. That's like a disgrace. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you was homeless three years ago and like, you know, you make six figures, six figures a month right now. Right? Yes. The business. Okay. I, I leave everything really in the business, to be honest with you. I don't really like Okay. It. So no. you make six figures a month. So, like, that's pretty impressive that you was able, you know, to make a complete 180 all the way from, you said you were still working while you were homeless, but, I mean, you weren't making enough to, like, be able to have shelter, right? So, like, that's pretty impressive think, Yeah. that you was able to make a complete 180. So, like, can you... Can you like give us the rundown, like the visual of how yes. that looked like? Yes. Like, what did yes. you? I'm about to, to... I'm about to tell you guys how to go, how to be wildly successful. Number one thing. No, 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 <laughs> no, Sean, Sean. I didn't, I didn't ask how to like for you to. I, it wasn't that broad of a question. Like, how did you go from homeless three I'm years ago? To, I'm trying to tell you, but you're not listening to the answer. No, you said I'm gonna tell y'all how to be successful. I just want to know how you went from, like, I want to know the steps. Like, give us a visual of, like, what you did, like, the timeline of what happened to you, like, what you did specifically to go from homeless three years ago to now you're making six figures a month. Like, is it my turn to talk? I stopped talking. All right. You want to interrupt? What right. am I doing right so, now? With that, with that being I'm said, waiting for you to talk. That, <laughs> with that being said, uh-uh, Sean, Sean, don't start doing ready? that. Girl, He's about to see Olivia, it. Olivia, Sean, don't start doing that. Okay, you, you, let's use critical thinking skills. Okay, <laughs> we both know right. you know cues. If I'm, if I'm being quiet, that means you talk. If you're being quiet, that means I talk. Now talk. You done? Sean, don't be disrespectful. Just talk. Oh, just yeah. give us the timeline. Just let me know when it's my turn to talk. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. You're, you're funny, man. It's your turn to talk, Sean. Go ahead. All right. So with that being said, very first thing I did was make a committed decision when I was sleeping in my car. I do. I'm going to get my life together. And this is never going to be me again. I, I'm going to fix this. I don't want to be in this situation anymore. Um, so I was going to start a business. Uh, I was about to go, start, go $90,000 in the debt to start a business. And then COVID happened and everything shut down. 
wasn't starting a business because everything shut down. So I started discovering a way how to make money like online. And I just um, saw five different things that I thought were like real. I made one, which was uh, high ticket closing and um, consulting. I got a mentor on it. Uh, I started working at a digital marketing agency and took it from, uh, you know, making $100,000 a month to about $700,000 a month. I did not own the agency. I was just, you know, working there, had mentorship surrounded by some very, very, very high level people. Learned a lot of skills, learned how to build an offer, learn sales, learn marketing, learn all these like skills and resources. I started making about fifteen to 20000 a month. I quit that company because I felt like they cared more about, you know, money than like helping people. It wasn't like a bad thing, but I just felt like they cared more about making money than helping people. I always wanted to just help people. Um, and then I started my own business and pretty much did, you know, seven figures in sales um, my first year and multiple six figures in cash collected. And then the following year, I was able to really, really, really take off with that. And then, you know, I started, you know, consulting other business owners. So that's it. Okay. Well, you know, congratulations. Being homeless is a tough situation, right? Like when you, so when you was, when you was like in that process of like building yourself up, you was doing all this in your car. Still had a job. Yeah. So like the thing is when you guys think homeless, y'all think like addicted to like illegal stuff. No, substances. cause earlier I said, I know you were still working. All right. so, I'm just clarifying, uh, Sean. I'm just clarifying. It's not that serious. Go ahead. Let me know when you're done. Let me know when you're done clarifying. I'm done. Go ahead. All right. So, with that being said, somebody called you Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that being said, with that being said, um, <laughs> with, like I was still able to like function. It really wasn't that stressful. Like to be completely transparent. Uh, luckily, you know, at the time, you know, I've always been, you know, very lucky with women and, and I was, you know, dating somebody at the time and when, when they discovered like my situation, they like welcomed me with like open arms. So that was like really, really awesome. And, and fortunately I was not homeless for like long. So, um, I, it wasn't really that bad to be honest with you. It was more of a wake up call. Like nothing in my life changed. I just didn't get to sleep in my bed. Like I still had my same car, still had a job. I still like had everything. The only thing that was taken from me was stuff that didn't matter. Clothes, some shoes, like stuff I didn't really care about anyways. Okay. Okay, that's cool. And like this consulting business. So like if someone wanted to, you know, one thing I noticed is that like, you know, your your business is, is obviously making you more um, than six figures a month. Like, if someone wanted to find you that didn't use social media, like, how to be able to, like, you know, hop into your business, like, how would they be able to find you? Because I noticed that you didn't have a website. Yeah, so, for I got a couple websites, but for, to be completely transparent. Oh, really? Like, what are they? Go ahead. When... If somebody's not on social media, they're not like my ideal client in the first place. So it just makes sense. I'm not, I don't try to be for like everybody. I try to focus on, you know, a very specific group of people and get them tremendous results. The way I do things, if I'm gonna like work with somebody, like I want them to get a hundred times their like actual like money on it. So I don't try to be everything to everybody. Um, I try to literally just, when it comes to my business people, I actually do business with, hey, how can I get this person tremendous results? Results that are like unimaginable. I don't try to be for like everybody. I'm not for everybody. Okay, understandable. Um, is one of your mentors Grant Cardone? Yes. So he has a website. And I know that like you always state like, you know, you have to follow the people. You have to follow the things that the people that have the mass success massive success that you want you have to follow what they do so like you know i know you say you're not for everybody but like i also know you follow in the footsteps of like grant cardone and you know you're yeah. receiving here's mentorship the, here's from the, here's him the, here's the thing about hold on wait so you're receiving mentorship from him and like he's catering i feel to like you just came up here to hear yourself talk <laughs> 
I mean, we're having right. a conversation. We're not having a conversation. It's really you just kind of like talking, but go ahead. We're not having a conversation. Could you continue with your point so I can answer your question? Right. So what I was saying was, is that you don't have a website, but you said that you only cater to people with social media. So those who have a 700 credit score, they also like one of the other requirements is to have social media. Like if they don't have social media, you won't. That you if somebody didn't have social money. media, they wouldn't even see this because TikTok is social media. What's your point? So my point is, like, how do you have a business that's making you six figures every single month? But because you don't have I, a website? Have a skill, I have a skill set. I actually know what I'm talking about. I can teach anybody how to be more successful at any point, whether they don't have a business, whether they got a million dollar business, whether they got a $10 million business. So the whole point is this. My skills my knowledge and my ability are what help my clients, not a website. And websites don't make you money. Landing pages make you money. Everybody that's a business owner knows this. Websites don't make you money. It's a branding tool. It does not make you any more money. It literally it doesn't do anything. Landing pages make you money. Landing pages are what convert, not a website. See, they tell you guys that you guys need all this stuff. You need a website, you need this, you need this, you need 50 million things, bro. All of that is a lie. Nobody ever got rich from a website. That is a lie. No one ever got rich from a website? Sean, come on now. Like, you're a businessman. You should be smart. Like, what? I, am, I work in IT. Trust me. You make money when you got a website. Anytime someone clicks on your website, you're going to make some money. So okay? let me get this straight. Is the website more important or having people that know you more important? Because you can have a website, but if nobody goes to it, does it really matter? Mm -hmm. um, don't Which you one's Facebook? easier for somebody to talk to? They go to my website or they go to my Instagram? If they want to talk to me, which one is it easier? For them to go to the, my website or for them to talk to me? People are not going to come to my website and be like, I want to do business with that guy. But <laughs> if I go and have an actual conversation with them on Instagram, who knows? Maybe I can get them pointed in the right direction. Maybe they can like see. Like I feel like you got times are changing. Social media is the Instagram is the new business card. Everybody knows that. Like when you meet somebody, you go see. Even if you meet them on TikTok, let me go to their Instagram and see what they're really about. You do not be like, what's their website? You be like, man, what's their Instagram? I want to see who this person is. Like who is? Not serious, but my next question is um we're saying it's not that serious, but you're making it no serious. no like I'm just saying he's so against having a website like no, no, bro, no. bro which one would you rather have a website or literally hundreds of thousands of people that know you on social media both. which one's more important because why not both you can't have both but if you only have to have that's one. what I'm saying so like why don't you have a website I I make a website just for you okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just, no, it's just weird because I have multiple business owners in my family. Of course, they're you know they go on social media, they present themselves as a business, but they also got a website. Like, okay. I just feel like any business that's making over six figures got a website. But you know, okay. hey, that's just me. So my next question is, so um, you know, I know a lot of people come up here and they talk about like, um how like they really focus in on you know this your relationship dynamic with like the difference between you and Shanice huh mm -hmm. no, 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 no. go ahead okay so you know the dynamic between you and Shanice and then you and Olivia right so I know a lot of people bring up the age gap between you and Olivia and Olivia's 20 and you're 30 and there's a lot of people that watch this live that are young. And I know that, you know, you being the leader of this dynamic, like a lot of people bring up the fact that you're grooming Olivia, but you've classified your relationship as healthy. So can you just like, since you have this platform, can you just like explain for the young girls out there watching this live, why you wouldn't consider your relationship with Olivia as grooming? And like, oh, what are the things? 2028, for greatness. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So let me finish my question. So can you just explain 
Like, why you wouldn't consider your relationship with Olivia as grooming? And what are things that, you know, the woman on here should look out for, the young woman on here watching your life should look out for in older relationships with men, just so that young women out there know how to protect themselves. When yeah, no, 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 no. You're, you're right. You're right. Older. You're right on this. This is something that's not a laughing matter. I personally um, do think that, People can do what they want. I personally do not see something wrong with a woman if she's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, whatever. If she wants to focus on a family rather than just like being in the streets. Um, for me, I will say if a guy's not pushing you to your potential, if he's trying to like suppress you in any way, then maybe you might want to take like a, a, a look at that. Like a real man to me is a man of service. A real man is going to do everything in his power to empower the woman that he's what he's dated because every real man knows that like your woman is a reflection of like you and vice versa. So I don't pretend to have it all figured out, but I just know me and my relationships like I, I believe that a man should do everything in his power. He should take his knowledge, his wisdom, his resources, everything that he has to empower the queens that he's with. I know that's like my mission. Hey, here's all my knowledge. Here's all my wisdom. Let me help you be the greatest you. You want to be a housewife? Let me teach you how to be the greatest housewife. I don't, I don't know. Let me make an environment where you don't have to worry about nothing. And all you got to do is focus on taking care of the home. You want to be a superstar CEO? Hey, let me, you know, Try to give you advice on that. Let me teach you some of the lessons that I have. I know I don't have it all figured out, but you know, I got a couple of nuggets that I can give you. So for me, that's why I do my relationships. Um, but guys date for different reasons. Some guys date for ego. Some guys date, you know, for life. Some guys, it just totally depends. I, the best advice I can say to any woman is figure out what's important to you, figure out what you want to do in life, and then find somebody that's like aligned. You guys morals, you guys values, you guys missions are aligned. Right. So that's like the number one thing. Like, I feel like relationships have to be a lot deeper than physical pleasure and how somebody looks. Mm -hmm. So you feel like it doesn't matter what the age difference is, as long as that person's receiving. Uh, yeah, I will say um, as long as it's legal. Right. Um, but with that being said, I feel like mindset is way more important than age because there's a lot of like 35 year olds that are still like immature and like lack like the social skills, the communication skills and like the mental maturity and the emotional maturity of an adult. OK. So why isn't you and Olivia's relationship grooming? Grooming for greatness. Like, what, what do you consider, like, grooming? Like, what am I grooming her for? No, I'm just saying, like, can you explain to us why you think it isn't? Because a lot of people on the live be saying that it is. And just yeah. to say well, a a lot of, out there. Well, a lot of people on the say a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Oh, God, you know, somebody in the live in the comments said you used to be a man. I don't know how true that is. No, so, but it's know, like they're just, using your people actual People just be saying age, a lot of it. But they're using you know, your actual saying, age uh, they're using your actual age difference. Like, it's not like they're just saying it out of thin air. It's like they know that Olivia's 20. They know that you're 30. Like, can you just explain for the young girls on yeah. here that are watching yeah. this yeah. So, why it wouldn't uh, be considered grooming, to your opinion? All right. So here, here's the thing about Olivia. I'm not, I'm not here to say people are going to look. They're going to say what they want to say. This is what I will say. I am not sitting up here telling Olivia to do things that I think are unethical. Mm -hmm. Olivia is not on the internet taking off her clothes. Olivia is not doing OF. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm not making her do anything immoral. Olivia can step into any room and be respected as a hotshot CEO businesswoman. Super smart, super beautiful, super talented. And that's something that I'm going to maintain. She's not selling her soul. She's not doing anything, right? Because most people in our type of relationships, and it's not to judge, but a lot of these people be doing like things that I feel like can kind of like put them in like a negative light and they, they kind of look at us and it's just like, bro, well, like we're going to build a successful business and we're going to do it without having to take our clothes off, right? Mm -hmm. So I can see if I'm like, oh, you know, come on here, be a, be a, be a, be a OF girl, do this, do this, do that. And I'm having her, you know, do things that she doesn't agree with. Then I can see how the, hey, that's like grooming. But if I'm like pushing somebody to their potential and she wants to be a CEO, she wants to build business, she wants to help people, and I'm helping her do that, mm -hmm. what's the harm? 
I think where people get that, you know, your grooming is that, you know, oftentimes you tell Olivia what to do. If she says something off of the top of her head, you tell her to switch her answer or you you do things in a way to yeah. to yeah. steer the question yeah. in the way yeah. that you want yeah. it to sound. Yeah. Yeah. So so here's You're the being thing. rude. Who, who's Who's being rude? You're being rude. You 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 hear me talking and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's rude. Don't do so that. So me agreeing right? with you is rude. Okay. No, Go but ahead. like, you, no, ahead. Sean, Go ahead. don't do that. This, don't do this, that. This is the world. This is the world we live okay, in. Okay. Don't, do don't, do don't, do okay? don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Me agreeing with you is rude. Don't do that. Just don't do it. I said it's rude. Don't do it again. So what were right, you bro. saying? Listen, you're not gonna tell me what to do on my platform. Okay. If you're offended, you can communicate that, but you're not going to tell me what to do. I'm not your dog. All right. So yeah. with that being said, if it offended you, it was not meant to be. I'm just know. telling you no, like, how to talk, you're talk to, me. to me at this point. Like, you're not I'm just tell telling you how to talk, talk to me. All right. Cool. Look, finish, you finish, 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 your, finish your statement. Come on. I already did. All right. So with that being said, <laughs> the best thing that I can tell you is that leaders see more and they see further than the people that they're leading. And what you guys don't see is people hit up our friends, our family, everybody. And a lot of the times, like people will clip stuff up and make it seem like it's something that it's not like people clip stuff up and make it seem like something that is not. So for me, I'm like, hey, just be careful with what you say, because sometimes things can be misconstrued. That's all. So that's that. It's just called having foresight. Okay, I don't think that really answered my question, but it's whatever. Okay, I think you just couldn't lead me to like the path that you tried to lead me on. No, I just, I just literally asked, like, can you just explain why your relationship isn't grooming? But and I told you people are gonna, I told you people are gonna think what they want to think. What am I grooming Olivia to do? <laughs> to say so, things like, that I wasn't gonna say, like, is that what you're trying like, to say? What am I grooming her to do? Because that's what grooming, grooming is a form of manipulation, emotional nip, manipulation within your relationship. You know, oftentimes that like you do things to Olivia where like you're manipulating her to say certain like, things that she wasn't originally going to say like so that right. you're, you're, the way that you're presenting your story as a dynamic yeah. is the way yeah. that you want it yeah. to be presented. Got a question for you. If we walking down the street and I see a car coming and Olivia's about to walk across the street and I know if she walks into the street, the car's going to hit her from like, babe, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't do that. Is that me being manipulative or is that looking out for her? That's not the same scenario. It's actually the same exact. Listen, with all due respect, you guys, share, you guys have no idea what we go through. This girl has been harassed. She's had her mom call. She's had her dad call. She's had so many people call her and like, they will say stuff, they will clip stuff up and try to make it seem like it's something that it's not. And it brings unnecessary drama that prevents her from producing and helping people around the world. With all due respect, I appreciate your perspective, but you have not been in our shoes. You don't know what we go through on like a daily basis. I so with that being said, I just feel like it's something that you would not respectfully like understand. I understand that. That's why I asked for you to explain why it isn't. All right. Do you do you do you have another question? Yes. Um, <laughs> Shanice. So, um, how are you, Shanice? Good. How are you? Good. Um. So I know the other day when I was watching the live, like, mm -hmm. and you're probably tired of people bringing it up, but um, the King situation. So a lot of people were commenting that you were crying while you were on the live. Were you actually crying? No. You weren't crying? No. There were no tears coming out of your eyes? I was not crying on my eyes. Okay. Because it looked like you was crying. I appreciate your concern. Okay. Um, well, that was it for me. It was good talking to y'all. You got a, you got a, you got a business? Um in the works i don't really want to talk about it right now but yeah you're building your website huh 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 you build I your built website, many huh? websites I, like i told you i work in it i've built many websites i know how to build right. websites well you keep building your website keep planning thank you oh, with that being said with that being said we appreciate <laughs>
for being on here. Have a good night. Bye. Peace. All right. Awesome. Let's get somebody else up for you. Listen, I'm going to tell you how the truth, man. <laughs> I ain't got a passport. Website that I got a website that I don't use. Uh, I, I don't drive. I, I, like, what, what else do you want to say to you? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. You know, I wear funny looking suits. I don't know what they tell you. But listen, man, all I know is this, man. I have paid the price. I don't pretend to have it all figured out, you know, but I feel like I have achieved a little bit in my life. If you guys are wondering who I am, my name is Sean Adams. I'm a Forbes published multi seven figure entrepreneur. Um, I'm no better than you guys. Like three years ago, I was sleeping in my car. Um, and, you know, now, literally just as recently as yesterday, I got, you know, blasted out as a case study by, you know, one of the most famous billionaires on, on, on the planet. So with that being said, man, I'm not here to try to like, you know, belittle you guys. I'm here to help you guys every day we come here. This is my beautiful Queen Shanice, the humanitarian bombshell, Olivia Appleberry. We want to give you guys strategy. I'm going to be honest with you, man. You don't need a website to be successful. You don't need a passport to be successful. <laughs> you don't need a driver's license to be successful, or at least to make money and take care of your family. You don't, you don't need any of that stuff, okay? So for those of you guys, man, that actually want you know, to better your life, man, I always give you guys free game. Listen, man, if you guys are watching this and you got a 700 plus credit score, I want to give you some strategy that you can use to, to make an extra ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. Now life isn't all about money, right? But you need money to take care of your family, man. So if you want to take care of your family, take care of your kids, quit your job, take care of your parents, whatever it may be, and you got a seven hundred plus credit score and you want to learn a couple strategies for free, you know, um, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adam. DM me free game. It's the one with the blue check. I only got one account. I'll never ask you for money online. I'll never ask you for your credit card. DM me on Instagram, free game, and I'll teach you for free how to make ten to $15,000 a month. I can't teach you how to build a website or get a passport, but I can teach you how to make money. All right? So with that being said, and for anybody that may be doubting, like, I don't know about this guy, just go and look at my Instagram, go look at this, the highlight lifestyle and testimonials. I got hundreds of testimonials. I've been doing this for years. I'm the real deal. Um, and if you go in to my page, Sean Arnold's 14 on just the one with the blue check. If you go to my page and you look at my lifestyle and as far as lifestyle, like the actual highlight that says lifestyle, and you think I'm not legit, just don't ever, you don't ever have to bother me again. But I'm pretty sure you'll see everything you need to see. You know, to be like, hey, this guy has achieved a, a, a little something, something. So, again, I don't pretend to have it all figured out. I don't have it all figured out. We're here to help you guys. Some of you guys may be asking, like, why are we doing this? I'm I would just be honest, you know, we want to be wealthy. And wealth isn't about money. It's about impact on people. My legacy won't be the amount of money that I make. It'll be the people that I help, right? And I like getting messages saying, hey, man, you I implemented some of those strategies that helped me change my life. So if you guys are watching this, man, and you got a 700 plus credit score, we just want to give you a legitimate strategy that you can use to make an extra ten to $15,000 a month completely for free. So DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore Tennis Scratums. DM me free game if you got a 700 plus credit score, and I'll literally teach you for free how to make an extra ten to $15,000 a month, okay? So with that being said, one more thing I want to say for my guys, if you're not satisfied with that, you want to make a dramatic change in your life, right? Like a dramatic change in your life, kind of how I did. Um, and you got a 700 plus credit score and you're looking for somebody to really show you the way. Guys, my guys, man, because we need more leaders in the world, DM me on Instagram, mentor. Mentor, if you got a 700 plus credit score and I'll personally reach out to you and see if my mentorship is a good fit for you, DM me on Instagram, mentor, Sean underscore Tim Scratch, just the one with the blue check. We appreciate you guys. Um, also, if you guys follow Olivia on Instagram, follow Shanice on Instagram at iBombshell, iBombshell, iBombshell. I'm telling you, she's, she's a total babe. Um, with that being said, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys so much. Anything you want to say before we get yes. the next guest? Yes. Follow my business page on Instagram. Business page, okay, right sweet. So, with that being said, let's get this, baby, 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 baby. My king, my king. What do you got to do? Yes, my king, 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 king. Let's bring it to 600,000. 600,000 what? Likes. 600,000 likes. 600,000 likes. Don't stop that screen. 600,000 likes. 600,000 likes. 600,000 likes. Double tap the screen. 
double tap it up double and i'm gonna look through who is our next guest who do you want as our next guest because we got 99 people in the queue oh we got the girl back i'm gonna bring her on we got co lovo exo the twitch streamer right, 400,000. Right well i'm gonna now. ask her some so questions much. about twitch And I encourage you guys, man, go go to my page, look at my highlights, look at the testimonials, look at the the, the, the the highlight that says lifestyle. You can see like what I've been up to for the last two years, man. I know it says lifestyle, but it's not like flex. I don't really do a lot of partying or anything like that. It's really a lot of self-development, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going up, going up, going up. So with that being said, man, go check it out. We appreciate you guys being on here so much. Is that lady joining? Is she joining? Oh, yeah. We're waiting for 600. 600,000? How many shares? Shares? Right. Let's do 3K. 53K likes. Let's do 3,000 shares. Thank y'all so much for the likes. Thank you. Thank you. We're at 587, 590. Ooh, hmm. 601 K likes. Thank you so much. Mm hmm. We are almost there. Oh, we got 600. We got 3K. Let's bring K Lovo XO. Hey, girl. Hey, oh, I'm back. Yes. yes. All right, hold up. Let me turn on my camera. Oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Hey, guys. Hello, hello, Hi. hello. Hello again. Hello, hello, hello. 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 How's everybody like doing? Echoing, girl. I'm sorry? I think I, it's not echoing, echoing, but it's. But it's it's like, it's like echoing. echoing. Yeah. It's echoing? Not, not echoing. Hold on. <laughs> is it echoing now? Echoing. Oh, no. what, what? Yes, it yes, it is. It is? Yes, yes, it is. Oh, fuck. It's like, it's like, <laughs> My fault, my fault. Um, Is it echoing? No, I'm not recording on my phone, y'all. I'm not recording on my phone. Oh, is it okay now? It's better. It's better. Okay, perfect. Um, I right. just wanted to keep it. No, it's not streaming on my phone. They only see me right now. They don't see my phone. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe it's because of the phone. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. 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 Uh, my stream can't hear you unless they're on the stream themselves. And even if they did, the audio does not trans, it doesn't leave my PC. It goes to my headphones. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, um, <laughs> so, oh, make it, um, I'm sorry. People said, people said make headphones. my headphones is not connected to my phone. It's connected to my PC. That's why I said the audio from my PC goes into my headphones. Um, okay. I have a few questions for you guys. Um, where do I start? Let me keep it short and simple. Sean, I have a question for you. I just want to start off, you know, sweet. Uh, I see you always like to mention uh, your testimonials, right? Yeah, what's, yeah up? what's up? I went through your testimonials. Beautiful. You got, you have a lot of work built together, right? I have a few questions in regards to your testimonials. Um, can't hear from TikTok. Okay, what's up? Um, I, I have a few questions in regards to your testimonials, okay? Uh, don't, don't get mad at me. This is just me doing my research, right? All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. What are you trying to do right now? You don't even know the question yet. I know, I know, but like, what are you, what are you trying to do right now? There's no so point that, in asking just, a question. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. Oh, oh. I can barely read like, 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 drama. There's no drama. You have yet to hear my question. It's a good question. You have yet to hear it though. So let's just let's let let's let the question come out. What? <laughs> All right. Anyways. Um, you have two people who I was intrigued by, correct? Um, young and wealthy, young underscore and, and wealthy one, right? And JDE Toro. Do you, do you, you know those people, right? They're, they're in your testimonials. What about, what about them? I just wanted to ask, how long have they been, um, getting mentored by you? Mm, what they wanted to do. Huh? 
Well, depends on what they're going to do. One of them, I know my number one girl next door. Bro, bro. One of them, I know my number one girl next door. Another one you're just working with. Okay. I'm still, still working with. Oh, you're still working with. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I got that. Cool. 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 Uh, they seem like cool people. Um, I wanted to ask though, I did see, cause you know, you're always telling people to like go to your testimonials to stop making assumptions about your, your work. I don't want to make any assumptions. This is just a genuine question. A uh, young and wealthy five months ago, exactly. Uh, stated he's been receiving mentoring from you for eight months, correct? And um, that he made 1.2 million in revenue, production, sales, whatever. Um, and I just wanted to ask you first, do you know the percentage of small businesses that reach a million? A million, a million, in, revenue. A million in revenue. A million in revenue. I would say, I would say it's like, like in eight percent. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, good. So we're on the same page. Um, quick question about young and wealthy. I don't want to come off as disrespectful, but he seems to be in the same economic stance as, as when he first started. Um, is there any, what, what is he doing with that money that he made? The 1.2 million? First of all, he There's a difference in that. So, what he's doing with you, because like, you got to a certain point and win the win. win. Um, I can't really, I can't really tell you. Okay, and JDE as well. He he actually seemed a little more well off to me, but he also was in the same financial stance. Yeah, as, yeah. Uh, when so, he so, the way, the way, the way. People, I think, I think about well, well. So, so what is what is it is? It is so I'm so sorry. Sorry. I just, I just, uh, yeah, I, it's saying the echo, but I turned down my volume. Like, yeah, I can well, barely well, hear, you. Can hear you. Listen, we're going to make, go make, go make the best. So, okay. so with that, with that being, you can you can billion dollars. Or, or you can make, you can a, make million a million dollars. Live off live of 100, 100, live off 200, 200, 200, 200, you know, you know, pay your taxes, pay your taxes invest, invest 400, 400, 500, 500, 500 so what I teach, so what I teach people, is people is don't increase don't the increase lifestyle. The lifestyle. Your passive your income is greater, than, is greater your than your earning. Okay, understood. So you um, want to? So you want to? You want to? Yeah, nobody. Yeah, nobody, nobody. Nobody. They're saying it's you. Uh, I, I'm reading the comments as they go. Yeah. Yeah. But um, okay, so perfect. Thank you for that answer. I just want to know: Do you know exactly what it is they're investing the money that they've made into, or because I don't really see it? Uh, well, what people do when they do whatever, do they, whatever they, want they want to do. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I, 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 I invest in stuff. In stuff you know, you know, that you can see. see that, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't, don't mess with crypto. I don't trade it. I don't mess with stocks. I don't mess with. I like stuff. I like stuff. That's that's cool. Cool. I like stuff. I like stuff. I like stuff. I like stuff. Okay, great. Uh, I just have I have a question for Shanice and Olivia, really quick, uh, if you guys don't mind. So there's been several times where he's been asked uh, how exactly he's going to split up his time between his family when it comes to kids and seven other wives. I don't really see an issue with his answer if that's exactly what he wants to do then he wants to do it but he's mentioned several times that uh changing diapers et cetera, et cetera, is not something he's going to be doing so how does that how does that make you feel knowing t knowing that you're gonna have to carry that that part of having and i and i i would assume that you guys are gonna have probably more than one child with him so uh how do you feel knowing that it's going to be simply all on you when it comes to that late night when you got to wake up after you just carried a child for nine months and pushed them out you know your cooter um how how do you know knowing that at 3 a.m when the baby's crying he's not going to be there to help you it's going to be simply you i'm fine with that hmm okay because <laughs> role, um because gender <laughs> roles exist um is to provide and protect for the household and my role, I know as a woman, is to take care and nurture the home. And let me get this straight. I am paying for our place. 
I'm paying for everything that we've done, the food that we eat, paying for the car that is being driven, paying for literally every single thing, providing a roof, providing warmth, providing shelter, providing all of that. Because at that time, we'll be handling all of that. And you think that it would be too much for a mother to change her own baby's diaper. Is that correct? Uh, I never said that. I don't see what I'm doing. doing I never doing. said I'm that. Working Wait, I'm, working I'm working for seven, seven, eight, 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 down. I never said that. I said there are certain jobs and I'm sure I, I mean, I, I would assume you guys don't have kids. I don't have kids at uh, myself, but I've watched a few family, a few family members raise children. And uh, I would say their husbands handle most of the things, too. But there's also contributions made because they didn't carry a child for nine months and change their body for him just to have to wake up at 3 a.m. or every, it's sometimes it's every other hour. You barely get any sleep as a, as a you're basically gonna be a single parent in that aspect, but they barely get any sleep. So I, I don't know how, if, if you're all, all comfortable with it, Olivia, then okay. But Shanice, I would love to know. And uh, what, what, what's, your, what's your answer on that? I know that our children will be well taken care of. Um, I am completely fine with doing most of the nurturing because I feel as though I'm a very nurturing person. And in regards to instilling the principles and ideals in our children, like my love will be there. And in regards to being at games, I'm not saying that he, like, he's still going to be supportive. I'm not, he's not saying that he's not going to be a father, but in regards to most of the nurturing, I'm a nurturing woman and I'm a very feminine woman. And I know that regardless with us being the parents, he, like, our children will be well taken care of. Perfect, thank you so much for that answer. Um, I have, I had a few more questions, but I actually tuned into your live two days ago and I really just wanna end off here. I don't wanna take up too much time. Um, so basically there was a really good question. I'm religious myself. Um, there was a really good question by somebody and uh, they basically asked, think on a broader uh, uh, mental plane, who is your king, correct? And um, I couldn't help but realize it bothered you for another two hours. So I do want, and I'm speaking to Sean, I do want to know how is it that you get jealous of her relationship with God? And, oh wait, wait, before you say like, okay, maybe you didn't get jealous. I don't wanna put words in your mouth. This is a better question. You wanna have seven queens, right? Do they all have to adopt that mindset that God is not first? That's not what I said. That, that quite literally, because, okay, so there was a point in time in the live. Do I, do I get, do I get, do I get like, if you want to, if you want to kind of like create a narrative, like, you, you can't, you can't. There's she, no she, she didn't say, does God come first? She didn't say, is God. She king? said, who is king? <laughs> and in the Bible, the Lord is king. So <laughs> you then got upset <laughs> with the <laughs> <her laughs> answer. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You then got upset with her answer, right? And when she reiterated it and said, he is king, but God is number one, it still bothered you for another hour and 30 minutes and I counted. So, um, is there anything you have to say in regards to that? Yes, yes. Do I, do I, do I, do I. All right. So for me, it wasn't what she said. I have no problem with that. Everybody knows that God is above all. Everybody knows that. And if I did something to misconstrue that or to suggest that I think any differently, I take full responsibility for that because that's not how I try to come across. I don't think that I'm above God. I don't think I am God. I don't think anything like that. Everybody knows there's a higher power. Do I have your attention? Yeah, it's just, she's on. I'm on mute because I don't like the echo. So I'm listening okay. to you. I'm just, I'm just making sure I got your attention. So the reason why I had an issue with it was because I felt like somebody somebody tricked her into changing her answer. Because if somebody else asked her, or if, we, if there was no cameras here, and somebody had said, who's your king? She would have said me. 99% of the time, she would have said me. And here's my point, people have a problem with that. If she is my queen, why would she not date her equal? Why would she not date a king? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. let me land my plane. I go so hard for my family. Mm -hmm. In the past two months, 
the business that I run has generated over $330,000, enough to buy a supercar. Do you know how much I've spent on myself? Absolutely zero. I go so hard for my family. Mm -hmm. I go so hard for my queens that yes, I want the respect of a king because I put in the work. That does not mean I think that I'm above God. It means I have a lot of respect for myself. And to any man out there in your household, you should be the king mm -hmm. and you should honor your woman as a queen. And as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I want to really go into this. Okay, because perfect. We, I answer, wait, 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 you answered though. Hold on, hold on. You answered though. Hold on, hold on. The if plane is crashed. We, 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 we Ephesians. Ephesians, I'm sorry. I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, his body and himself its savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. That is that is out of the Bible. That is straight out of the Bible. So for me, I didn't have a problem with her saying that God is king. For me, it's the principle, right, of like, hey, you let somebody else change your answer. That's that's what like that's what upset me. It was not what she said. It's like that you let somebody else influence you. You let somebody else treat you or ha sh make you have less respect for your man. So for me, the way I look at it is it's like this. If you unalive somebody, that's a bad thing. Right. If I unalive somebody, that's a bad thing. But if I unalive somebody and I'm defending my family, I'm trying to protect their life. And in order to protect my family, I have to unalive somebody. That's a good thing because I'm protecting my family. So it wasn't about the fact of what she did. It was the underlying principle behind it. You let a TikToker flip your answer. You try to appease a TikToker instead of like saying what you normally would say. And that was my issue. Because everybody knows the downfall of a relationship is when you let other people get inside your relationship. That was the whole point. Now you can go. Perfect. Okay, so there are two points I want to make on that. Do you not feel as if Shanice has not enough shown that her devotion is to you? Um, the fact that you were so disturbed by her answer kind of just makes it seem like you invalidated all of her prior examples of showing that you were her king. But okay, let's, I digress. Uh, I, my, wait, 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 I said I had to. My second point is the same Bible you are quoting also says God does not, God comes before everybody. Okay, so so what what about that quote? God becomes the before everybody. So now what? I came before God. I came before God. I literally said that. You just quoted that the, a woman should submit as a man submits to the Lord, yet in the Bible as well, and this, uh, this applies to man, woman, child, of whoever follows the Bible, correct? Let's say you guys are married in the house of the Lord, even though you guys are not, right? Um. God is still supposed to come first, even when she's when she's Who married. Who said first? But you just quoted as if when you're, she you're, said you're, God you're, is king, you're, 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 because Lord is king, you're, it's you're, as if that wasn't supposed to be her answer. You're, you're, you're missing the point. Okay, let's this say is, I missed the point. This is, what I'm, bro, this is bro, what this is what I'm saying. If somebody, if somebody asked, asked, could you mute yourself? If somebody asked her 99 times, who's your king? She's going to say me. The only reason why she said God is because somebody else flipped her. That's what I was upset about. You can say Timbuktu is your king if that's what you if that's your mindset, right? But the thing is, I had a problem with her allowing somebody else to switch up how she treats her man. You should never treat me different based off of what a stranger yeah. says. Because at the end of the day, we got to sleep next to each other at night. You're not sleeping with a stranger. You're sleeping with, with me. And the way I look at it is, hey, if I'm saying you're my queen, you're my goddess, what to the women that have a problem, oh, I would never call a man a king. If you consider yourself a queen, why would you not want to date your equal? She please, never please. she never <laughs> took away your king title. All she said is Lord is king because she just asked a, a series of spiritual questions. So uh, to uh, someone who is spiritual herself, I, I'm, what I want to understand well, is, okay, well, let's, well, let's, well, let's well, wait. Quickly, 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 quickly. And for me, if 
I want my woman to ride with me because I'm riding with you and I'm never going to switch up on you. I don't care if people say she crazy. Why are you calling her queen? Why are you calling her goddess? Why are you calling her to give her a life? Why are you flowing her so much power? She's a narcissist. She thinks she's too beautiful. And I'm going to be like, yup, and that's my queen. And I'm never switching up on that. And there's nothing that anybody can say. And it seems like you're not grasping this concept. And I take full responsibility because this is where I got to develop my communication skills because I know you have good intention. I'm going to make it perfectly clear. I have no problem with her saying God is king. God is above all. My point was the principle that she switched up an answer based off of the influence of a stranger that's not in our relationship. That was my whole point. And I could see if she was like, God is my king above all. But in this household, in this relationship, this is my king. I but she that, did. But when she no, did, no, you no, continued no, 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 to, listen, 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 to listen. talk about it for an hour listen, and 30 listen. afterwards. All right, all right, just, when I'm she just, did, listen, reiterate listen, herself. But point, anyways, point, I digress. My I'm next question. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So my next question, my next question is, let's say, well, not even let's say, because this is fact, you're going to have seven queens, correct? Do they all have to adopt that same ideology? Where let's well, say well, someone were to ask, wait, hold up. Let's say someone were to ask, who is your king? Who do you view as number one? If they say God, are you going to go on another temper, te temper tantrum? I'm going to be honest. Be honest. Zero. Zero. In dating, in dating what you want to do in your show. I have zero interest in being with the woman that I treat as a queen and she doesn't look at me as a king. To me, that's dumb. That's dumb. I don't know. Listen, listen, listen. I go too hard. I put in 17 hours every day. I crush it every day. And I don't do it for me. I do it for my fam. And when I come into a woman's life, it is going to change your entire generation. It is going to change your mama's life. It's going to change your daddy's life, your cousin's life. It's going to change everybody's life. That I guarantee. And I do not bust my butt put in 17 hours a day for somebody to not look at me as their equal. If I'm gonna treat you like a queen, why would you not look at me as your king? That don't even make sense. I would never wanna be in a relationship like that. So, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm going to honor and cherish my woman as my queen. So I'm standing on that. I want a woman that's gonna treat me as her equal. If you royalty, I'm royalty too. And I'm not bagging down on that. And I still think that if people ask Shanice to this day, who's your king? 99% of the time, she's gonna say, my man. Okay, perfect. So um, my, my issue is, is she never took away from your status or your status in her, in, in her world. She never said you are not king. She just asked after a series of questions that were spiritual, who is king, which to anyone who is spiritual is going to say that. Okay, fine. My issue is, um, I feel as if you took that one situation and completely disregarded all that Shanice has done for you. You said that she has um, she is she has made the best of a messy situation. She cooks, she cleans. Um, is that not enough? to display yeah. that yeah. he views me, you as her king? Because for me, you to go me, on, me, wait, I'm not done. Wait for you to go on for three hours to continue. I don't know what you were saying in that girl's ear, but her face was saying a whole lot. For you to drag her and passive aggressively do so because I feel like you have this unspoken language that I feel like your chat is now, I love your chat by the way, they're hilarious. Um, I feel like your chat is now able to read. You have like this unspoken language with them. And also, um, let me say this, I'm so sorry, Olivia, I do not want to disrespect you, but um, have you, how, what, 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 uh, what relationships have you been in in, uh, in the past? I've been in, I've been in, in the past. Huh? In the past. I've been, in one I've been in one relationship. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, fuck. Sorry. Okay, so you've been in one relationship in the past, correct? Um, how old were you in, in that relationship? I was... I was... So Yo, you I, went from... I question? Question? I'm sorry? I just... I have a very quick question. Yes. Question, what you did. Could you mute yourself? Could you mute yourself? All right, so with that being said... Like, if you want to be right, you want to be right. But this is my thing. Loyalty is something that I want, and I want it all the way. She can be faithful to me for 10 years, but if she goes out tomorrow and gives another guy head, does the rest of that 10 years matter? What does God, her saying God is her number one, have anything See, to do listen, with her listen, going listen, out and getting what, head? What? Where is your Could correlation? You listen, 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 listen. Could you mute yourself? Mute yourself. So listen. I think you're being 
you're very passionate about it. And I see why, looking at your perspective, I see why it upsets you. I get it. Shanice is an amazing woman. She goes hard for me. You feel like I don't appreciate her. You feel like I'm tearing her down for saying God is first. And if that was the case, I would see why you're upset. But my point is this. You, you, did, it, you it, did tear it, her down. And you compared and her and Olivia. No, could, you could you listen? I never said that I come before God. I don't have a problem with her saying that God is first. Do you understand that? You did, but you okay. did. Okay. So you had to have her correct herself. You had to have her correct herself. But you will never, I'm so sorry I have to say this. I've seen you as someone, I don't want to come for your intellect. I don't know how you are intellectually, but you just seem as someone who can never admit when they're wrong. So I don't even know why I asked that question because even if I put it in a even simpler term for you, you would still find a way to be like, well, that's not what I said, okay. right? Okay. Could okay. you, could you, favor, favor. Could you, could you pull me the clip? clip. Mute yourself, Mute yourself, please. Please. Could you pull me the clip of me saying that I come before God in my relationship? Please pull that clip. I never said that. What so I said I, was I, when she I, said, I, I, oh, wait, wait, you asked me a question. When she said that God was number one, it visibly upset you. Why? Because she, you also wanted to be clarified as king. What are these people talking about? Um, anyways. You, 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 you wanted it to be clarified as, as your king in a spiritual question. You can't, you can't act as if it wasn't clear that she was asking in a spiritual. It was, it was not. It was. It was. She just asked a series of spiritual questions. Could you just, could you just, like, like, this, like this, like this. You guys ask loaded questions and they ask all these questions to be. It wasn't loaded. He didn't say, say listen, <laughs> if, if she wanted to know her opinion on God, she could have just simply said, who do you value more, God or your man? Who comes first, God or your man? She just said, who is your king? Could you admit, hey, if this is my queen, could you admit, could you admit some world, maybe I could be expecting my queen, the one I bust my butt for and put in 17 hours a day for, to say that her man is her key, which she would normally say, which she tells me every single day. Could you see why maybe I'm a little bit surprised by that? Or no? Or no. Yeah, um, so, okay, so my, my, my issue is, uh, no one was trying to take away from your title, you know, you're, you're their king, yes, but, um, after a so series of questions, I wasn't done, me not done, me not done, why was she, me not done, me not done, if she wasn't if trying, she trying to take away my, why was she actually waiting to take away you are so quick to, to, to stop someone, and Olivia is so quick to be like, wait, 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 but when I'm talking or when someone else is talking and you cut them ahead, off, no one, no one intervenes, right? Okay, so as I was just saying, um, no one was taking away from your title at all. No one was taking away from your title. It was just more so a question that followed spiritual questions, period, okay? And however, even if that was her answer, how is that an issue if she's religious? How? How? Because it bruised your ego. That's fine. I'm bad. I want to go back to Olivia though, real quick before I get off. I, I you know. <laughs> yeah, same. Same. Um, so you're pretty young. You're pretty huh? Can I uh clarify something? Okay, of course, uh Olivia is a queen. Yeah, that's what I Beautiful, but you said that before, and I could, I honestly wish I could show it right now, but I could just pull it up for my stream, you know, I could honestly, that's the best I could do, um, because they could only hear the audio. There was a point in the last stream two days ago where you said that, and he still went on for an hour and 30 minutes, because I counted, right, okay. so let me, so let me, and he continued, he was still, he was still not okay with that answer. Was that, was that, that, was that did nothing. Um, I would like that, to move on to Olivia. Was I, was I, I for saying, for saying that God, that God you yourself. Yourself. Yeah. Was I upset at her for saying God is king or was I upset at the fact that she allowed somebody else, a stranger, to change her answer, which is my point. She's a grown woman. If that was her answer, that's her answer. She's a grown woman. Anyways, Olivia.
Um, I would like to ask you, since you have no answer, you have no relationship to uh, compare this to, and uh, you guys have only been dating for how long? Like seven, like seven months. Seven months. Okay, and how, how, how soon did you move in? Hmm. Uh, uh, immediately. Well, I came here, and I was not expecting to, you know, I did not expect us to like advanced to a relationship or anything on a romantic level um but it en ended up just turning that way so i was just here immediately. that wasn't my question my question was from when it turned romantic you completely missed the question when it turned romantic how soon did you move in immediately i was already here, here. So at that second i don't like, I don't like that no, that's okay. That's off. Anyways, um, so my Why point being off? is, I I just wanna, huh? Why is that off? What do you mean? What do you mean that's off? That's off. What's off? What's off? You barely know the man, and you moved in. No, I don't. On a romantic mean, level, you barely know the man. I don't give a damn how long y'all were friends. On a romantic level, you barely know the man and you moved all your crap in. But okay, I digress. So uh, moving on from that question, you said that you've only been in one relationship when you were 19. You guys started dating at 19, correct? Yes. yes. So you were barely in that relationship. You have nothing else to compare it to. Olivia, were you, and I don't want to be disrespectful when I say this is why I left this for last because I know I'm going to get kicked off. Did you get any attention from men when you were growing up? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Men of that stature, I'm going to just throw stature generously. Um, did you get any attention from men with money growing up? Mm, all types of men. Mm, sure. Okay, because I was just honestly, and Sean, let me just say this, you done glowed that girl up. I was going through your Instagram from, I would say, over a year ago, correct? And, um... You looked a lot different then. I so know, my, know. wait, yeah. my, 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 this is what I'm seeing because I'm young myself. I'm 22, but it's just certain things when I was 19, there's certain, there's certain things that I did at 19. I wouldn't do now. Right. Um, but just from, this is just from me, just, you know, conjuring shit up based off of what I'm seeing. Um, I feel as if you probably did not get much attention uh, from men growing up and or men of that stature and you don't have much options because I feel like a woman with options doesn't matter their age. You kind of take heed. You kind of tread lightly when it comes to situation. I don't know what's funny. Shanice ain't laughing because ain't shit bro, funny. Bro, bro. <laughs> you know it's funny when Shanice laughing. Ain't shit funny. So... <laughs> yeah, you glowed her up. We we could pull up we could pull up receipts from a year ago. She ain't looked the same. Her makeup is is improving. It's not there yet, but she ain't looked the same. Okay, so um, look, like, look, I look, saying, look. like I was saying, uh, you you I feel as if you did not get attention from men growing up. Maybe men with money. And uh, you saw this as not to say this is the only reason why you're with him, but you're like, oh my god, I'm young. Uh, and I'm getting attention from a man who has more than me. Hence why you jumped into it, because I was in the same situation. Not to say I was, you know? I denied him first. So I did not jump in. Jump into yeah, but didn't he say when you first came out there, you had a boyfriend as well and he didn't know, and uh, if he did know, you wouldn't have been out there? That's what he said, yes. Okay, so why would you say yes if you're in a relationship, babe? Because it wasn't romantic. That wasn't the point. She was in a she was in a relationship. But okay. it wasn't a romantic trip. I I don't know if I'm talking to a bunch of NPCs. Um, that wasn't the point. No, the point terrible. was she was in a relationship. Hence, it would lead her to say no. You're dating a woman, a loyal woman, right? Olivia, you're loyal, right? You're a loyal woman. You didn't just turn loyal overnight for Sean, right? I would I would assume you were loyal to your first boyfriend as well, correct? Yes. yes. So, um, I I I'm kind of I'm missing the correlation as to what that had to do with anything. <laughs> What, what, what are you what are you um you not having much options you try to say well you you completely you weren't interested in him at first or you said he did you just say he made advances and you turned them down 
Right? Is that what you, uh, Shinny side eye? Yup, same. Uh, was that, was that what happened? Did you, he made advances and you turned him down? Cause that's basically what you just said. Yes. Yes. Okay. And I would assume because you're in a relationship, you turned them down, correct? Yes. And also, when, even when I broke up. Ah, okay. He, he, okay. We got to the point. We got to the point. We got to the point. And I broke up with him, with my ex. I still was not taking the advances. Well, eventually you did, and you moved in within the quickness, the quickness, no hesitation. So, no, um, no. My issue is, is you have absolutely nothing to base this relationship off of. Um, and this is just my personal opinion. You were not approached earlier in life by men of that stature. He must have been the first one. Hence why you left your relationship with your first boyfriend and are willing to share your man with uh, Shanice, who is beautiful, by the way. I love you, Shanice. I love the way you carry yourself. Um, I, it's just... Ugh. This relationship doesn't give. Also, uh, uh yeah. we, 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 of course, right, uh, nice. no, myself. Okay. so this is the thing girls swear they have all these options. <laughs> do the old men actually want to build a family with you, or do they just want to use you for your body? <laughs> We do, but she probably didn't based off of how she looked. Oh, she probably went now, but she didn't before. Do those, do those, do those, do those actually want to build a family with you, or do they just... Do they just like, you, you are not the only one that wants to build a family, okay? So I'm not sure what, sure what you're trying to insinuate. I, I never said that I was the only man that never came out of my mouth. I just asked, do those guys actually want to build a family with you, or do they want to use you for, like, your physical body? Because all these girls swear they have all these options, and yet I don't see a lot of families and I don't see a lot of people building together. Just because a guy sees you and he wants to get up in the draws does not mean that he's a family member. Girl, you, girl, like, I get it. It's social media. You guys are getting all these DMs. But most of these dudes, I would say 98% of them, just want to smash. And when they do that, they'll be done with you. And another thing, you are a very... Obviously, you know, smart, talented, you have an extremely, you know, you're very passionate, right? Obviously, you know, you're going places. You don't need me to tell you that. Do you consider yourself a queen? Hold up. Fuck. Uh, yes, I'm back. Uh, do I consider myself a queen? Yes. 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 When you get a man, is that going to be your king? Yes. Okay. And he will be only mine. No, 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 only no, 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 mine. No, no, no. Only mine. No, you just said it out your own mouth. You consider yourself a queen. The man you're going to be with is going to be your king. Those were your words, which was my whole point. Checkmate. You can go back to being upset now. <laughs> only mine, only mine, only mine. Ain't no checkmate. Anyways, um, like I was just saying... Uh, when it comes down to this poly relationship you guys have going on, you love to mention, what is the percentage of monogamous marriages that fail? You know it so first well. All, what is it? Hold on. First of all, first of all, it's over 50%. I want to say this. I know where you're going with the 92% rate, but that is considered relationships where women are sleeping with other men which yeah, that 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 no it's not listen. i don't know what study it's, you're reading but no it's not honey listen? no it's not could you listen could you listen in a polygynous relationship the success rate is actually 82 percent mm, period anyways you said it was strictly for women no it's not that's why i stopped listening uh, okay well, listen, listen, study listen. you're reading to its entirety but i have another question for you in regards to Give me one second. In regards to your business, and this will probably be my last one. I know I said uh, oh, bro, it was bro. my last. You said, you said what? Say what? This is my last question. It's in regards to your business. Oh, and I'm man. done. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done with this hot mess. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said what? You said what? I have one last question in regards to your business, and then I'm done with this hot mess. All right, funky, bunch of funk nasties. And Sean, I don't want to be a part of your relationship. Stop DMing.
Listen, man, we appreciate all you guys out here. We got 51,000 people in here. I want to give a special shout out to, to somebody that's been absolutely monumental, Woo! instrumental to me, man. Um, as a matter of fact, I want to go ahead and show them this. Could okay. you have me the phone? Listen, a lot of you guys, man, we don't pretend to have it all figured out, right? But a lot of you guys, man, listen, if you want to do big things, bro, you want to do big things, man, you want to go and win million dollar awards, bro, it starts with your vision, bro. The success, all right? So, listen, I looked at this thing every day, and for those of you guys that see, it says a million dollars. I don't know if you see it, a million a year, 83000 a month, 19000 a week, $2,739 a day. Bro, in order to hit the target, you got to have the vision on point, man. All right, we got freaking all these things up here. These are all custom. We got this right here. This is custom art. It says San Diego Royalty on it. Hustling since 2022. Those up there, they say my name on them. What's the point? Um, you got to get a vision, man. You got to get a vision, right? We got freaking the Wolf of Wall Street right here, right next to, you know, the, the, million, do the, the million dollar plaque, the million dollar award. I consider myself a, a deal maker. What's the point, man? Social culture has the absolute best art. Social culture. Art, okay? Social culture art has the best art, man. Best customizable art for all of you guys, man. Go and check them out. That's where I get all my art from. Use the code SDR15 and they will give you, uh, do something really, really special for you, man. Listen, this is the number one thing to help me. Looking at it every day. Looking at it every day. Hey, that's how I get to a million a year. That's how I get to a million a year, okay? Social culture art. Look them up. Um, use the code SDR15 and it'll give you a 15% uh, discount. Um, best in the game, man. Absolute best Beautiful. in the game. They got customizable art. So, so, so gorgeous. They got art of different sizes. SDR15, use that. The first person that goes and buys something um, and sends me a, a screenshot that they bought it, uh, I will actually pay for your purchase, man. Um, okay. So with that being said, first person, I'm, I'm buying an art. Right, you guys, get any size you want, any size you want, I'll pay for it. So the first person that sends me a screenshot of them actually doing that, I'm actually gonna like pay for their their order. I'm telling you, this number one thing helped me out, man. It, it completely changed the game for for me, bro. Completely, completely. You can customize that. You can make that 10 million. You can make it 100 million if that's what you want. It just helps to see it. They got so much art. They got it boxing they got athletes they got all type of stuff they got everything if you like clothes designer whatever it is man best custom art on the planet we appreciate you guys literally so much we're about to get another guest just waiting on the queen shanice uh for those of you guys that got a 700 plus credit score man and you want to add legitimate strategy to your business all right to i mean to your life to make an extra ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore. Just DM me free game, and I'll teach you for free how to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. DM me free game, okay? Uh, and I'll teach you how to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month for free. It's the one with the blue check, okay? Uh, with that being said, I appreciate you guys being on here so much, man. For those of you guys, if you are watching, my young fellas, yeah, my young guys, we need more strong leaders in the world, man. We need more kings in the world. If you're trying to become a king, man, you want to get to multiple six, maybe even seven figures a year. Uh, you got a 700 plus credit score and my young kings, DM me on Instagram, um, mentor, Sean underscore Tim I'm just the one with the blue check. I never ask you for money online. I never ask you for your credit card, okay? I only got one account. Again, for that custom art, the code is SDR, like San Diego Royals, it's SDR15. All right, go, go, go hit them up. Social culture art. You guys will absolutely, absolutely, absolutely love them. First person to buy something and send me a screenshot that they bought something, I'm going to like go ahead and like pay for that for you. Yeah, Shanice is fine. Look at her. She is fine, fine. Y'all go follow her on Instagram. Go blow her up. All right? She's trying to get to 11,000 followers. So go blow her up and, and go follow Olivia. We're trying to get Olivia to 10K. Go follow her on 
Oh, uh, Instagram. You ready for the next guest, baby? Yes. Ma'am. You look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, go. Hey, 700 plus credit score. Want to make an extra 10 to $15,000 a month? Want to take care of your family? Want to take care of whatever it is in your life? You want to go to the next level? DM me if you got a 700 plus credit score. DM me on Instagram. Free game, and I'll teach you for free. All right? I'll never ask you for your credit card. I'll never ask you for money online. DM me free game, y'all. Mr. Terry, let's get the next guest up here. We appreciate y'all. Shout out to Lor to Lorenzo, man. Lorenzo, man, if you're watching this, you are the GOAT, man. Lorenzo, uh, social culture art, all right? You are the greatest, man. Grant, I don't know if you're going to see this, man, but soon we're going to do this, man, in front of 50,000 people, bro. 50,000 people. Grant, going to cut you a big check. We're going to be talking one-on-one -on -one in front of 50,000 people, man. Let's do it. Got to get the people what they want. Mm-hmm. I feel like we've had this girl on the hitting like grandma. I don't think so. Yeah, the one more thing I want to say, man, again, if you guys don't know who we are, man, um, you know, Sean Adams, multi seven figure Forbes Publish Entrepreneur. If you like, man, can I trust this guy? I don't know, man. There's a lot of crazy people on the internet. I get it. A lot of people that be talking, and I'm not perfect, man, but I'm just a little bit further along in my journey. Go to my Instagram, check out the lifestyle highlight, check out the testimonial highlight. The people are tagged. You can talk to them kind of like her. Um, so you, you just go and, and check me out, man. I promise you, if you don't like what you see in the lifestyle and the testimonial photo, like just you never have to follow me again, never have to listen to me. All right, I'm never going to ask you guys for money. I know it can be tough to be like, hey, man, should I listen to this guy? But listen, I want to give you guys strategy so you guys can improve your life, man. Why are we doing this? True, we want to become wealthy, man. And true wealth isn't about money. It's about positive impact on people. Positive impact on people. That's what we want to do. We want to positively impact you so you guys can have better families, better friendships, a better quality of life, man. Okay? So with that being said, let's get the next person up here. Where did that girl go? Or legend. I just hey. knew y'all was gonna accept me tonight. What? I knew y'all was gonna accept me tonight, and that's crazy. Let me cut my camera on. Yes, yes, yes. You are here. Oh, um, hey, girl. Hey. What's your name? Where are you from? Hi. I'm from Texas. My name is Orlasia. Relasia, I love it. That's unique. Okay, cool. When did you first see us, girl? Um, a couple of months ago. Nice. Okay. What's your question, Relasia? I have a few questions. Hold on. Y'all want to give me why I was gambling? That's crazy. Oh. Okay. So. We could talk about tonight. We ain't even got to go in depth with nothing else. I noticed that Sean stated that he had a couple of websites, but then he stated that he doesn't have a website and he doesn't need one to be successful. I don't think you need a website to be successful. That's just my two cents. Okay. Is it because you don't want the IRS tracking your scam transactions? Bruh. Bruh. Literally. All right. What, what, what scam transactions do I have? Somebody stated that you asked them to wire transfer fifty thousand dollars to you. All right. So, first of all, I don't ask them to wire me anything because that's not true. I have like. Oh, you asked. They 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 wired it to the system. All right. So let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. When you buy a house, does it cost money? 
Yes, but it's all tracked. Hold on, hold it's on, all on, being on, tracked. Listen, this, here's the thing. If you have somebody that has an issue, I am a transparent guy. So why don't we just bring them on the live and they can tell me, tell the whole world their story. You guys, we got to stop just listening to every single, like, thing. Oh, this is an Airbnb. Oh, my real name's Jason. Oh, Olivia was 17. Oh, Olivia's pregnant. Oh, Shanice is... Like, it's kind of ridiculous at this point. You guys listen to somebody that's never done business with me. When there's billionaires that literally have me in their case studies, there's hundreds of testimonials, everybody's tagged, and you guys can go and talk to them yourself. But you guys want to listen to somebody that's never done business with me. Please make that make sense. Do I refer people? Hey, go buy commercial real estate. Hey, you can start an e-com store. Hey, you can start a trucking business. Yes, all those things cost money. Everybody knows that. Okay. And a lot of companies listen, have listen, websites, listen, listen, and that's the reason listen, why they listen, aren't listen, successful. Because you had PPP, and that's here, why you here, mad. Y'all scamming me. No, nobody. You're and just you mad. Like, quit blaming that. You don't want man. the IRS to track everything that you all do. Right. You're scamming. All right, all right bro. Me. All right. I don't care. Right. So, 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 tell me, check this out. How, how about the person that you had? What's their at, and we can bring them up? The person that what? What's their at, so we can bring them up? You're not going to bring them up. You want to No, I will bring them up. Her. I'm not dodging no smoke. We will bring them up. You, listen, this is the thing that makes no sense. Why are you so mad? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the thing that makes no sense. A billionaire put me in his case study and sent, it, sent my name out to millions of people. And you got, we got hundreds of testimonials. And I have never, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have never asked anybody for a single dime. And you guys still got the nerve to say, oh, you're a scammer. Bro, please make it make sense. You didn't seen us do giveaways. You didn't seen us do single mom. Where are they at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You didn't seen okay. me support small businesses. You just saw me do a giveaway to support a small business. I've never asked you guys for a dime. And you get up here and say something about something that they once said. And they don't even have the courage to come up here. Why I don't look, you bring them up here. Can I talk? What, listen, listen. What's their at? And you can bring them up. Okay, here. let me give you the at. Let me give you the at. Listen. Let me give you the at. I am about to message you right now. I'm let me give you the at. I'm about to connect you with you on Instagram. We can FaceTime. We can record the whole conversation. I want their at, and I want to bring them up here because honestly, I'm sick of it. And the reason why I get so upset is because when you guys come up here and you guys say this dumb stuff, you guys rob people of a true opportunity to learn because. They so scared listening to the haters, listening to this, listening to people that have never done anything with me. This is absolutely ridiculous. When you get, did you send me her Instagram? I'm gonna message you on Instagram. Do so I gotta, gotta keep connect. me? I'm not done <laughs> answering questions. This is, no, 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 no. You're out of questions. Yeah, Please. because. Huh? Bro, that's absolutely ridiculous. Listen, man, I totally get it. I totally get why there's like, you know, so many questions, this and this and that. But guys, one, I'll never ask you for money online. I'll never ask you for your credit card. And two, I have tons and tons and tons of testimonials. Okay, you guys, this is the reason why we can never get ahead, bro, because we always want to, like, attack leaders. We always want to tear people down. It needs to stop. Bro, I know we've been, like, so big, and I know it's, like, a lot, right? I tell you guys, yo, go check me out. Go literally look me up. Go look at my lifestyle stuff. Go look at all of that. Listen, if you want to freaking sit up here and go look at my lifestyle, you want to look at my highlights, you want to go click on my testimonials and you get sketched out, dude, I totally get it, bro. I literally, I totally get it. But guys, I've never asked you guys for a dime. I will never ask you guys for a dime. We just want to give you guys a legitimate strategy to help your guys' business. Okay, we've had so many people in here that we've helped out. And see, here's the thing, bro. You can't hustle and hate at the same time. And honestly, I'm getting sick of the... Well, you're going to always have haters, but I'm getting sick of people just saying egregious stuff that they've never done business with me. Like, if you've done business with me, you would know I don't even ask anybody for a 50. That, that's just crazy. So the whole thing is just like, bro, we got to, like, listen to people that's actually, like, work with me. Because anybody can say anything, and I'm willing to talk to anybody. I'm not dodging any smoke. So if that girl can find, or somebody has a story, or they got an app, or whatever it is, bro, please bring them on the live. We want to talk to them. Because if you were wrong, we want to fix that. All right? You guys got to stop being, you guys got to stop that, man, because you guys rob people of a, of a real opportunity. There's real scammers out there. There's people who really scam. Hey, message. If anybody messaged you, asking you about crypto, telling you they will trade on your behalf, that's a scam. That's a lie. Somebody asked you to send them money over Instagram, telling you they're going to trade over on your behalf, bro, that's a lie. That's a real scam. 
Okay. Now I will be honest with you guys. The strategies that I give you guys, you guys, they do cost money. It's not with me, but they do cost money, right? If you want to invest in real estate, it costs money. If you want to buy a storage facility, it costs money. If you want to start a business, a lot of the times it costs money. But we actually give you strategies that you can actually use the bank's money, okay, to pay for your business. And you just collect the cash flow. So you guys, same way you use the bank's money to buy a car. When you go buy a $50,000 car, you don't send them $50,000 wire. You go use the bank's money and you make payments. Well, guess what? You can buy a business the same way. And that business will pay you five to $15,000 a month. Now, if anybody's actually interested in that and you actually got more room in your heart to hustle rather than to hate, and you got more room to create rather than to be critical, if you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, free game. It's free. I'm not going to ask you for anything. I'll never ask you for your credit card. I'll never ask you for money online. If you be like, how can I trust this guy? Look at my lifestyle. Look at my testimonials. Look at the, those two highlights. Mm -hmm. If you think I'm not the real deal, don't DM me. I don't know what to tell you. All right, but for people to just come up here and say dumb stuff that's unsubstantiated is ridiculous. Oh, well, I heard, I heard your name's Jason. I heard that's an Airbnb. I heard that's on Pure Space and y'all pay $324 a day. Uh -uh. I'm sorry. Come on, man, it's, it's gotta stop. Hey, we got Shonda back up here. Period, boo. All right, so big people like hate so much, bro. Like, I don't get it. Like, they've seen us give away so much, and they just like hate. Like, bro, I can see if I was like, hey man, buy my course for nine ninety seven, or buy this for ten thousand dollars. Like, bro, it's free information. Why are y'all so mad? I will never get that. But it's all good. Hmm. You look so beautiful. Hello. Okay, where are we? Hello. All right. All right. Well, listen, man, I think that's about it for tonight, man. Listen, guys, we appreciate you all so much. I appreciate you guys for coming. Anything you want to say, David? Follow our YouTube, San Diego Royalty. Yes, and remember, first person to DM me a screenshot, um, I will, remember the code is SDR15. I will literally pay for um, one of your pictures, any size, no limit on that, okay? We want to help you guys. We want to help you guys. We appreciate you guys supporting. If you got a small business, if you got a small physical product-based business, please hit us up, man. We want to have you on the live, man. If you really have a great product, you have a great message, and you're really helping people, we want to have you on the live. We want to have you up here. We want to have you up here. Okay, so with that being said, if you guys have a great product, whether it's a clothing line, a bonnet line, whatever it is, if you're really helping people, man, we want to uh, have you guys come up here, shout out your business, give you any type of strategy. Like I said, we ain't perfect. We ain't got it all figured out. But the last couple business owners we had up here, they did pretty well. So with that being said, uh, big announcement tomorrow, man. Huge announcement tomorrow. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys. Anything you want to say? Oh, just follow our yeah. Instagrams too. Follow Olivia on Instagram, trying to get her to 10K. Follow Shanice on Instagram, trying to get her to 100K. All right, so with that being said, we appreciate you guys so much. You guys be blessed. We love you all. Have a great Bye. night.